I finally made myself a dress using my favorite frog fabric. <laughs> Let me tell you about it. I'm Mari with Mari Sews, and thanks for hanging with me. So I have finally used my favorite frog fabric that I picked up from Melanated Fabrics. Um, and if you're wondering why this is actually my favorite frog fabric, it's because, well, the little frogs are from Puerto Rico. They're native to Puerto Rico. They're called coquis. And so I was really excited about using this fabric in some way. And since it's a rayon chalet, I just felt like a fun little sleeveless summer dress would be perfect for it. I decided to go with McCall 7970 because I've already made this dress before and I was really in need of something that was going to be simple that can just, you know, get my sojo really kicked into high gear. And because I've made this dress before in the longer view, I figured, well, let me go back in and correct some of the sizing issues that I had with that dress and just make a shorter one. I decided to make view A. Now view A has ruffles that get sewn onto the, um, the, the two wrap pieces. So it is a wrap dress, um, but only the bodice and it gets connected into a skirt. What I like about this pattern in particular is that it has a lot of different options that you can make. It has the longer skirt options, of course, with the um, side slit, or actually it's kind of like off onto the thigh area. But it also has those gathered tiers that are a little asymmetric that you can do some really fun color blocking with. And then there's a different sleeve option. So you can go sleeveless, you can do a long sleeve, or you can do a shorter um, flutter, flutter sleeve. <laughs> so let's talk about the sizing of this pattern. This pattern actually runs from a size 6 to 22. Now, when I made this dress previously, I knew that it was a little too snug around my hips and that I wanted to add in more ease. Now, here's the thing. I had used the size 22 previously, so that meant that I needed to grade out my sides. There was actually three different skirt pieces, so I had to do it on three different patterns, and I added about three quarters of an inch there to give me more space for when I sit down because there is nothing worse than sitting down and feeling like your skirt is too tight when it's not supposed to be. Adding in the three quarters on the side seams like that actually gave me about an additional three inches of ease to work with, which worked out pretty nicely. So let's talk about some of the other changes that I made. One of the things that drove me a little bonkers with my last version was that the shoulders were really too long. I mean, like they kind of like hung over my shoulders. And so I knew that I needed to bring that in. What I decided to do was just cut a size 16 as opposed to the 18 at the shoulders. And then I graded to an 18 at the bust and then down to a 20 at the waist. And then, well, the skirt was a 20 to 22 plus. And and to be honest, the shoulders I felt were still really too wide. Even after you gathered that like piece, even after, even after I gathered my front piece into the back and then, fold, you know, did the bias and everything, it was just far too wide. So to do a quick fix for that, all I did was I cut a piece of elastic that was shorter than my actual shoulder and I sewed it right onto that seam allowance to bring it in. And since the shoulder was already gathered, I didn't mind that the back would be a little gathered as well. And it actually brought the shoulders in to a point that I feel really comfortable with. Now, can we just talk about what I go through when I'm dealing with a rep bodice like this? Because quite honestly, I feel like every time I have to attach a wrap bodice like this into a skirt piece, it always requires me to just ignore that center point that they have. I always have to pull it tighter and I have to angle it down to cover my bust so that way this thing doesn't hang out. And that's pretty much standard with any any pattern that has a wrap bust like that, that I've used anyways from the big four. 
With this one, I decided to make my front piece about an inch longer than the back, knowing that I was gonna lop off a lot of that extra because I was crossing the pieces down like this. And that allowed me to bring down the front a little more so that way my skirt wasn't rising up in the front which is actually a problem that i had with the first dress that i made um it's not too noticeable because that one also has a wrap a little a little belt tie that i wrap around my waist and so it's not that noticeable with that one but when i don't wear that belt you can tell if you're really looking for it so that's why i added an extra inch onto the front pieces and then, and then after I sewn it onto the skirt, I just surged that entire edge and removed all of that extra fabric that I didn't need. Something that I didn't quite account for um, is that the ruffle on the skirt actually flows in the opposite direction from the ruffle on my bodice. So if you can see in the picture here, you can see that the wrong side that shows, which I actually do like the wrong side showing on this dress, but when you're looking at it on the skirt, it doesn't quite flow with the way it does on the top. That's because when I was cutting that pattern piece out, I should have placed it wrong side up on my fabric and cut it so that way the darker side would have been going in the right direction. It's not that big of a deal. I mean, at this point, I feel like I'm nitpicking this dress that I really do like. <laughs> but that is something to keep in mind if you're going to be making this pattern and you have a fabric that has two different colored sides. So you all, I have to admit that I haven't really sewn any kind of garment that has ruffles along the bust like this because I guess in the back of my head, I always kind of like thought that no my bust is really large therefore if I put ruffles there it would just like accentuate that. I feel like that's just one of those rules that I need to toss out and just like get out of my head because I want to wear all the ruffles and you know what I think it really does look cute. Let me know if you have other kind of like fashion rules like that that you've subscribed to that you recently have been like oh out the window out the door i don't know what the saying is but out with that thought right so this is mccall's 7970 view a if you're interested in any of the other views you might want to check out this video here and until next time i sincerely hope that you find joy and have a wonderful day